I made a mistake. In that tutorial about AI adding kills to the game points, I was wrong. We all fail. We all make mistakes. It's what makes us human. I mistakenly added separate teams as if they would get points, you know, separately, when it actually is only intended for single team games like Firefight Slayer, where everybody is on the exact same team, and you need to get a certain amount of AI kills to win, because with the script set up that way, in that video, both teams would get the points for the AI, no matter who killed it. But I'm here to say that I fixed it, made it better, and I've added a couple extra things in here that weren't in the last video. I want to give a shout out to Nick Batista for really getting me into setting up my scripts as prefabs. So now going forward, all of my tutorials will include a link to a prefab of the script I made in the tutorial. All of my prefabs will be uploaded using the exact nodes and setup I used in the video, so you may need to adjust your object references and variables. With that out of the way, let's get to fixing. So let me go ahead and fix this all up by... I'm gonna go ahead and place my AI spawner. And by the I'll skip to the end because you already know how to set it up. Everything's good. Okay, now it's set up. And I'm going to go ahead and use a prefab of my infinite spawner that I made. And there's gonna be a link to that in the description. And it's just that universal single wave, everything respawns. Uh, once everything's dead, go ahead and remove that platform. Check our script, make sure we're good here. Yep, everything works right. Now he'll infinitely respawn. Now we set up the script, which is a lot simpler than the first one, believe it or not. Once you place a new script brain, just to keep things simple, I'm gonna go up here, and this is where the thing gets so simple. So we go up here to AI events, and of course we grab the on AI unit killed. Now I'm gonna do this in three different ways. I'm gonna show you how to do it for all the game modes, or at least all the Slayer type game modes. So we start with that, then we go down here to game mode. And adjust player points. This will be your free-for-all. This will give you points on free-for-all. You attach these two here. And you adjust the player points for however many points you want to give them for getting this AI kill. That's it. That's all you have to do for free-for-all. Unbelievably simple. Now we move this up here. And we duplicate this. Because now we're going to add it for Team Slayer. Adjust Team Points and this, this part is where I screwed up last time. Killing Unit and Team. That's where we're going to make this a little different. Now we go down here to Players and we select Get Player Team. So now we hook these two up this way and set it to one just like our other and now what it'll do is you don't even have to set up the multiple teams it will automatically find it for you so now the person who killed the AI this player it's gonna find out what team they are and it's going to adjust that team's points so you don't have to set up anything crazy it's three nodes and these two can remain in the same script, in the same map, at the same time, and it will not affect one another because this one will not, af will not affect team deathmatch or team modes, and this one will not affect free-for-all. So now you have that. Lastly, I'm going to show how to get points. Not like points toward your like score toward the game, but more of just your personal stats. Let me go up here to game mode again and we adjust personal score. Now we connect these two like this, and of course, just like before, the killing unit, it's like that, and put it on player. Now this will allow you to adjust how many points you get for that kill, like just your personal score toward the game. And let's say you want 25 points for killing an AI. So now, 
it will give you it won't give you points like toward the game like toward your slays for the game to be over these will if these weren't present then all this would do was add, is add that 25 so now that we have this I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it in the multiple modes I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one so that way I can test it separately and show you what I mean oh I'm getting hit actually the way I have it set up on my spawns this is the team deathmatch one and I threw in a bot I'm doing a bot, so that way, you know, we can kind of see our score here. I'm gonna see if he'll kill him. He's a really, he's a recruit. He's not good. I'll take care of it. Notice I just got a point. And he didn't get a point. That's the key. Of course, and if I go up here and I kill him. Then I ended up with that. See, I took the score off. And of course, you can leave it on as well. Because I'm not getting score for killing them. Oh, he just killed one. And he hasn't killed me yet, and he just got a point. So that's how you know this works. Now we're going to go over here to Free For All and show you how it works there. Okay, so now we're on the free-for-all. And it should work just fine. See? Arena free-for-all sayer. I haven't changed any settings. Is he going to actually kill the other? No, he's not. I'm going to have to. Notice I got the points down. I have two points and I've killed him twice. And I'm the only one getting the points, he's not. Of course, if I was to kill him. There we go. There it is. And he got the point. There you go. The free for all functions just fine. With the Team Slayer script still intact, too. Now we're going to go and check the score only, which the score can be combined with either one of these, so you get score along with points, but we're going to show just the score now. So now we're back in Team Slayer just because it doesn't, it doesn't matter the mode really with the score, but I'm going to go up here and I'm going to kill this guy right here. Notice I got that kill and I don't have any points, but my score has changed, which went up by 25. Because that's what I have it set to. 25 points for an AI kill. Now if I go up here, I'm going to take this guy out. Get the 100 score and I get the kill and a point toward the game. So that's how you do it to set up score for stats instead of adding actual game you know, points for a kill on an AI. Hopefully, this is a one-time thing. It was a learning experience. I didn't really fully test my script out before, and once I got to thinking about it after the video was already up, I immediately felt a sense of dread knowing my script is not about to perform the way it should. So from now on, I'm fully testing all of the scripts I made in all modes relevant to them, so you guys don't have to worry about that kind of thing again. But if the occasion were to arise, I'll be there to fix it.